So the market is shifting a little bit, you think? Yeah, the market should shift. We're coming into March break. Right. So that's pretty seasonal. We find that things change every year, this time of year, people yep. kind of focus on getting out of the snow and we can do that this year. So, That'll so nice. many people traveling, right? It's, that's a big thing. I was yeah. speaking to an agent yesterday who's putting a property on the market today. The day before March break, it's coming onto the market. A client's very interested in it. Yeah. They're gone. They jumped on a plane this morning. Yeah. I think that happens and so many people we're talking to are just leaving. So yeah. not as many eyes on the properties, not as many properties on the market. Yeah, so a lot of what we do is making sure A, the property is showing as best as it can, inside, mm -hmm. outside, online, photos, shined up and looking fantastic. The second thing is getting as many eyes as possible on the property. And if you launch into the March break, during the March break, your audience has diminished greatly. Probably 60% in, in the higher end market in the beach, probably 60% of the audience is gone over March break or yeah. at least very distracted. Yeah, I think that's true. So that's the important part about getting the highest price is having the most eyes on the property. And the market's seasonal. So we find like May seems to be traditionally our biggest time for transactions, right? The most transactions happen in May. Yeah. We saw a super heated January and February this year. Very, March very March has been crazy. Yeah. yeah. So, so it, it'll, it'll continue, I believe. What people tend to do is try to rush into the market early in the year mm -hmm. to catch up where there's very little inventory yeah. and get a lot more activity on their property because there's nothing to compete with. Right. What a lot of people don't realize is going a little bit later, they're getting the prices based on the earlier sales. From after May, like things are pretty steady, right? Yeah, and then summertime will slow down, I guess, Yeah. as it usually does. Again, it's diminished audience. People go away for the summer break. Yeah take their eye off real estate, do other things. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And then picks up after Labor Day. Yeah. Like August used to be our slowest month, even slower than December, right? Yes, that's the best time yeah. to buy a house, I think. If there's yeah. something that comes on the market that suits your needs, Yeah. not a lot of people competing with you. Yeah, very true. People will be kind of away in the next two weeks, throwing coconuts over their heads, yes. hanging out on a beach. Yeah, not buying houses. No. That's good for coffee and conversation. Absolutely. And you're a mermaid. Eh? I am a mermaid. Yeah, so nice. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>